Now let me consider the case when the of the pricing uh, and valuation of the equity forwards uh, when the stocks are paying dividends. Now uh, in a simple case uh, we used to calculate the forward price as spot price into 1 plus r raised to power time t. Now in the sense now the as the stock is paying the uh, paying the uh, dividends we need to make the adjustment uh, to the dividends. Now uh, let us consider the case here say for example this is time period 0 and this is uh, 3 years. In every year the stock is paying a dividend which means that uh, the analysts will uh, reduce down the spot price of the stock with the amount of dividends that a spot stock is paying. Say for example the stock is currently traded at 50 and the uh, dividends may be 0.25 in one year. So which means that the analysts will now reduce down the price of the stock to 99.75 the amount of the dividends that a stock is paying it is reduced by that amount now which means that if the stock is paying a dividend at this time period and this time period and this time period we need to discount these stock p the, the, these cash flows and then subtract it with the uh, spot price so all the cash flows that are accruing at this time period need to be discounted back and then subtracted with the uh, current spot price. So in this case the value of the f the price of the forward contract equity forward contract that is paying the uh, dividends they are to adju be adjusted for the present value of the dividends on the stock that is uh, from the 0 to mature 0 to t and plus 1 plus r is to power time t. So this is how we actually calculate the forward price of the stock that is being dividend. So in this sense we need to adjust the present value of the dividends. Now the present value of the dividends in this case is calculated simply by taking the present value of the cash flow say for example the dividend on this stock and 1 plus r is to power time t. So in this way we can calculate uh, the present value of the dividends. Now let me uh, calculate the uh, value of the forward contract value of the forward contract at any arbitrary point between 0 to time t. Say for example I need to calculate the value of the forward contract here. So in this case I need to find what is the support price of the forward contract at this time period. So simply I need to calculate the spot, I need to find the spot price and then you need to subtract it with the present value of the dividends of the stock from time, from this time to the maturity and then I need to discount the forward price as I did in the previous lecture, I need to discount the forward price on the RFR and the T minus T. So if I need to calculate the uh, spot price, if I need to calculate the value of the forward contract on this point, which means that firstly I need to find the spot, what is the spot price at this time and then I need to discount this forward price back to this time period, including the dividends that this stock is going to receive in the time period 3. Now uh, for better understanding we will take up the example and understand how actually the forward price of the stock paying dividend is calculated. And now let me take an example over here. Say for example, let me change the color first. Now uh, say for example the uh, stock is currently trading at $150. Uh, and uh, uh, and I have entered into a forward contract uh, uh, and I, I have taken a short position in the forward contract say for example so I expect I am expecting that the prices will fall uh, so I have taken a short position in the forward contract the uh, contract is for 250 days say for example the contract is for 250 days and I am taking the short position in the forward contract the risk free rate that is given to me is 5.25% now uh, what I am also given is that the uh, stock is going to pay the dividends 
now uh, stock will pay dividends like this it will pay the dividend after 30 days it will pay the dividend after 120 days and it will pay the dividend after 210 days now the amount of the dividend that the stock is going to pay is uh, 1.25 dollar then it is going to pay here uh, 1.25 again a constant dividend and it is going to pay 1.25 uh, dividend at these time intervals so now I am asked to calculate the uh, forward price I know that the forward price of this dividend paying stock is equal to the spot price minus the present value of the dividends and compounded at a risk free rate for the time t now let me do the calculations let me first calculate the present value of these dividends so now stock is paying div dividends at different time intervals so I need to adjust them for the different time intervals so first dividend that I will receive will be equal to 1.25 I need to adjust it for the uh, uh, risk at the risk free rate need to discount at the risk free rate now this first discount I this dividend I am receiving in th 30 days which means that I will divide 30 by 365 days in a year then I am receiving another dividend that is 1.25 and I will discount it again 1 plus 0 0.0525 this I am receiving at uh, uh, 120 days divided by 365 then I'm receiving one more dividend that is 1.25 and I will discount it at 1 plus 0 0.0525 it is for a period it is I'm receiving a 210 days so this is 210 divided by 365 so I will get the present value of the dividends now the present value of the dividends in this case is equal to 3.69 now as I got the present value of the dividends so it is very easy for me now to calculate the forward price now the calculation of the forward price is equal to what is the spot price of the commodity the spot price of the commodity right so also the security right now is $150 minus the present value is 3.69 dollars and the risk free rate is 0 0.0525 and I'm doing it for a period of 250 days so this is going to give me the uh, value of the uh, forward uh, contract after 250 days so this is going to be equal to 151.53 now suppose now suppose I am asked to calculate the value of this forward contract after 100 days Now I have to calculate the value of this forward contract after 100 days. Uh, when the stock price at the after 100 days is equal to dollar 150. Now uh, what I'm asked to calculate is the value of the forward contract after 100 days. This means the spot price at that time is equal to 150. I'm also uh, I have calculated this forward price is equal to 151.53 now uh, uh, I have been I, I have uh, been asked to calculate the forward price at uh, after 110 days now uh, since the stock is paying the first dividend after the period of 30 days and then after a period of 120 days which means that uh, uh, I need to discount uh, one of the dividends on this stock because uh, the uh, uh, 
the stock uh, is paid has paid a dividend of uh, after 30 days it has paid a dividend of 125 and uh, it is going to pay one more dividend in 120 days that is equal to 1.25 in this case now I, I need to calculate uh, the amount of uh, dividends that are going to remain over a period of time so I have received uh, this dividend but however this dividend and the another dividend that is the dividend that the stock is going to pay uh, at uh, after a period of uh, 210 days it is still remaining so I two, two dividends are to be factored into the price now let us take this consideration like this say for example this is time period 0 this is 250 and uh, this is say for example 100 days this is 30 days this is 120 days and this is 210 days here I am going to receive a dividend here I am going to receive a dividend I have already received a dividend over here so it is already factored I don't need to do anything with this uh, with this dividend because it has already been factored because now I am at this period has gone this is past tense history now I am at this time period where this stock is currently trading at 150 so how many dividends are to be adjusted this dividend and this dividend is to be adjusted because the prices will get factored on this uh, dividend on this uh, stock price so I need to first calculate the present value of the dividends from time t to time t so I have two dividends one is 1.25 I need to discount these two dividends that uh, the stock is paying So the stock is paying a dividend of one uh, uh, 1.25 and the discount rate is 0 0.0525 uh, the same discount rate that we have taken previously. Now uh, uh, what are the time period days to this discounting uh, to from this time period to this time period it is 20 days so I had to discount it for 20 days then I have one more dividend that is 1.25 that is 1 plus 0 0.0525 and what is the time period from here to here it is 110 days so I need to divide it by uh, raise it to the power of 110 by 365 so the present value of dividends will be 2.48 in this sense I can now calculate the uh, value of the forward contract at time t so what is the uh, spot price at the time it is 115 I need to first subtract the dividends that is 2.4 present value of the dividends that is 2.48 then I need to discount the forward price back this forward price that I have already calculated which is equal to dollar 151.53 I have to discount a bit back to this time period so I will discount 151.53 back at a discount rate 0.0525 for how much time period the time period that I have taken in this case is is the uh, time period that I'm left with that is 100 from 100 to 250 days 150 days are left so I have to discount it at 150 days and uh, divided by 365 oh, let me do the calculations elsewhere I'm going to do the calculations here now the value of the forward contract at time zero at, at this time period is equal to the spot price is 115 I have to subtract the present value of the dividend that is equal to 2.48 now I have to minus the uh, present value of the forward price that is 150 1.5 and it is to be discounted back that is 1 plus 0 0.0525 uh, 
and the time period that is left is 150 days to 365 so this is going to give me the value of the forward contract after 100 days this is equal to uh, minus $35.86 which means that this is a gain to the short position as I'm already short on this contract so this is a gain to me while this is a loss to the long party 